Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii. Yes, you've tuned in to life as God intended. And I'd like to share with you today how God provided me uh, what it might refer to as a dream vacation, although I never really dreamed of coming to Hawaii, to be honest with you, because it's kind of above my pay grade for sure. However, uh, but God, God decided that uh, he wanted Don to have some time off from counseling and broadcast, although I'm going to be doing some broadcasts from Hawaii for sure. And so a friend of mine uh, called me up here a few weeks ago and said, Don, I'm going to Hawaii. And I wondered if you wanted to go, I'll take care of all the expenses. All you need to do is get your plane ticket. And I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so this is a picture from, from my balcony. And I, hopefully that I can show you this. There's the mountains in the backdrop there. And the beautiful palm trees and view from my balcony with the uh, hotel scene here from Waikiki Beach, which is the exclusive place in Honolulu, Hawaii. So here I am, God's provision. And I wanted to talk about how God, you know, just does what God does, supernaturally uh, provides uh, for us. And uh, so yesterday, July 30th, I flew from Orlando, Florida. I left the house in Vero Beach at 6 a.m. And my flight was to leave, my Delta flight was to leave at 10.45. So got all checked in, everything was great. And then we were notified that the flight was going to be delayed due to mechanical problems. And so we weren't supposed to leave then till 1.45 as it turned out. We didn't actually get in the air until two o'clock. Well, while I was there, obviously I had a connecting flight um, to get to Hawaii and my connecting flight was to be in Seattle, Washington. By the way, I got a great picture of the mountains as we were landing into Seattle, something I had never seen before either. Beautiful. But anyway, my connecting flight was canceled. And as a result, they told me that my new flight would be Sunday morning flying out of Seattle into Honolulu, which uh, the person that was providing the trip for me was, you know, already had set up transportation at the airport. I was supposed to fly in on Saturday night, Hawaiian time, which would have been 7.30. And it would have been, let's see, that would have been much later because there's six hours ahead of us of your beach time. So anyway, they did what they could. They couldn't figure out how to get me on any kind of other airline to get me to Hawaii. And so I kind of conceded the fact that, okay, Lord, I won't get to Hawaii until Sunday instead of Saturday night as planned. And then uh, I, my flight took off uh, from Orlando to uh, Seattle, Washington. And in, in mid-flight, got a notification on the Dell app that my Sunday morning flight had been canceled. It's like, oh no. <laughs> but then the good news was that the original flight that I had uh, was now on time. And I was to fly out of Seattle uh, to Hawaii at 4.20 uh, Seattle time. Well, we had a problem with that because Having been delayed three hours and 15 minutes out of Orlando meant that we weren't going to land into Seattle until 4.20. So my plane, does, plane doesn't get to the, uh, to the gate until 4.20. My connecting flight was boarding from 4.05 and was going to be taken off at 4.45. And so if you've ever done any traveling, you know that that's not much time to get from one place to the other in an airport. So I was talking to the, um, the stewardess there, the flight attendants uh, on, the, on the Delta flight, 
they were very gracious and very helpful. And I explained the situation and uh, that somebody had gifted me this trip and I was supposed to meet them. And, and uh, now it looked like I wasn't going to make my flight because of the delay. And so uh, they said they were sorry and said that they would hope that uh, it would work out. So what happened was uh, I took my seat and then later uh, this, the same flight attendant, she had told me at that time that she would do something she'd never done before. She said, I'm really not supposed to do this. She says, but I'm going to make an announcement when we land and ask all of the passengers to stay seated in their seats because we have one passenger that has a connecting flight in less than 20 minutes and he may not make it. So would you be so kind to let him get his carry on, get to the front of the plane so he could be the first one off the plane so that he can make a mad dash to see if he can catch his flight. And so everybody did. Everybody stayed seated. In fact, there was cheers. Hope you make it. Good luck. And all these things <laughs> like being a celebrity. And uh, so I was the first one off the plane, made a mad dash uh, to uh, the gate where my next plane was uh, to take off. Now, before I tell you what happened, let me backtrack a minute. Because when that stewardess who had said she would do that came by with the drink cart when we were still flying, I said, here, I want to give you an LGI pen, a Life is God intended pen. It's got my website. Um, you're so kind, so helpful. So I just wanted to give you this small token of my appreciation. If you're interested, you can check out the YouTube channel. She said, oh, thank you so much. She said, I definitely will. So then she went about serving the rest of the passengers and a little while later, she came back to my seat. And I had been talking to three of those um, airline stewardesses in the back of the plane earlier. And she came back to my seat and she said, we knew you were Christian. She says, we knew you were Christian because you were so calm and you were so um, not, what, not weren't upset about the fact that you were going to miss your flight. And, and we could just tell by your demeanor and your attitude that you were a Christian. And then when you gave us the pen, we realized he is a Christian. So then I said, well, here, here's a few more pins. Give them to the other ladies. And thank you so much. And she said, and I'll definitely be viewing your channel. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, I ran through the airport. I got to gate A5 in Seattle. My plane was boarding. Passengers were boarding. I made it in time. I got on the plane. It was actually delayed five minutes, which we had prayed for a short delay. Um, and I was just barely able to get on before it took off. And then I learned that obviously my luggage didn't connect with the plane because they hadn't even begun to unload the plane. And so then I got a notification from Delta that they were going to be sending a special uh, flight from Seattle to Honolulu with my luggage and last night we went to bed honolulu time about 10 o'clock um which is about uh, two o'clock in the morning bureau time and come to find out my luggage was downstairs at the hotel delivered at 10 22 last night so didn't realize that until i woke up this morning and went down and got it so just how god parted the sea and parted the airways and it just provided one thing after another. I thought it was quite an amazing trip of uh, provision and ministry and testimony. And, and so this is just the first day of my Hawaiian vacation, kind of a little bit of paradise. And I just thought I, this by the way, if I hadn't mentioned already is, is a view from the balcony and you can see the, the ocean and the waves back there. I've already walked down to the beach this morning and shortly we're going to be, we've already took a walk and shortly we're going to be going to get something to eat. So uh, stay tuned. I'll give you some more updates from Waikiki, Honolulu, Hawaii. We hope you were encouraged and blessed by this video. We would love to hear from you and get your feedback and interact with you. If you have a testimony that relates to today's discussion, please share it below in the comments or send us an email 
with your inquiries or topic suggestions. We love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you won't miss any of our broadcasts. Be sure to check out our blog on our website, lifeasgodintended.org, which is also in the description below. And if you would like to support our work financially, we have also provided a link for your tax-deductible donations. Until next time, may you experience life as God intended.